Hi everybody, we are here at the Breed Love Workshop in beautiful Bend, Oregon. This is part of the summer show. We are going to dig into the beautiful color work. Sorry, it might be a little loud. We're gonna dig into the beautiful color work that you'll find on many Breed Love guitars. You'll see a lot of unique colors on a lot of our limited edition models. And we've never done a, a workshop tour where we've really focused on finish and color work. And so this is kind of a fun new experience for everybody. We're gonna to talk to Jade, who is in charge of the finish department and actually comes up with all these colors. Jade, how you doing, sir? Good. So we're gonna dig into the beautiful color work that you do here at Breathe Of. What do you got to show us? Well, as you saw on the wall, we've been pretty busy this year with trying to come up with colors for years in advance. Uh, it does take a lot of time to do them, and there's only four of us in the department, So, and I do all the coloring, 99% um, of the spraying. So when I have time, I try to whip out some colors, and uh, we'll go into a little more detail on how we come up with the colors, but yeah, we got a few yeah, of them man, here. Up here. This is the blue eyes. This is a real oh, hot one right yeah. now. So this was on a limited edition Oregon model that we had up this year, right? Yes. Cool. Yes, yeah, so originally we uh, were only doing a, a limited run of them, yeah. but it was so hot that we had to jump up the, the number of yeah. how many we're doing. For sure. What else? Oh, the white sand. I see that one. This is, yeah, this is the white sand. This is one that's we're working on right now. Beautiful, man. It's so cool. And I do have the, uh, there's an, the other one is the, uh, the Canyon Burst, which it's not right on hand. It's okay. Look at these different, look at this one. Wow, there's some really wild stuff going on. I don't know if the camera can really get it all, but a lot of reds and oranges and all kinds of cool colors in there. Yeah, and this uh, is beautiful, man. This is the same one I originally did on the, the wall, and some of these colors come out much more vibrant depending on the color of uh, the myrtle, how much figure it has in it. Gotcha. Um, if you can, with this one, let me pull it off. This one has a lot more figure in it, so when we... Uh, oh, wow. Pretty dusty in here. That is so but amazing. You can see the, the figure in it, so the more that we have... And this kind of... The, the wood kind of helps us develop what colors are going to go on what pieces of wood. Okay, okay. Um, over here, we got a couple different samples of... We'll do a blue eyes test on this one, but this is some of the different colors that we have to come out. We, okay. Obviously, the, the lighter colors don't work very well with a, a darker uh, myrtle. Gotcha. So we got to make those into different colors. So when you get the wood set, you really have to look at it and spend some time analyzing that, that raw wood to understand what color is really going to work best. Yeah, and when I'm doing these samples, there are different uh, shades of, like for example, oh, look at that. This is an orange with a, a light black burst, but you can see it's pretty a light color. Sure. Of Myrtle. This one has a lot of darkness to it, so sure. the purple lends to that, that color. And so it kind of, when I develop these colors, I try to use a, a variety of different woods to see what it, the, the colors we're working on will actually show up good gotcha. on the wood. That's amazing, man. So cool. So cool. So how do you, I mean, how do you even begin to get, starting from something like this to a finished product like that? I mean, what's the, what's the workflow? How do you even, what, well, what are the first steps? Angela and I... Uh, brainstorm colors. We'll use 
we'll use nature is mostly what we go by. Okay. Um, like this. Here we have a lot of the blue eyes color. So this was one that we kind of developed from that. We got a nice light blue. Wow. The purples and the darker blue. So that basically was our inspiration for wow. the blue eyes. It's amazing. Yeah. You can see it all right there. And That's so cool, man. Pretty much everything that we go off of is, you know, what inspires our eyes uh, in nature. Yeah. And then try to translate it to uh, the myrtle. That's so cool. So you're going to spray some stuff for us today and show us how you do this? Yeah. yeah cool, we're man. Gonna, we're going to spray a blue eyes from start to finish and see how the process is. Yeah, let's go get dirty. <laughs> I like it. Folks, we are here at the Breed Love Summer Show. We are behind the scenes in the Breed Love Workshop. We are learning about the color process. If you're just joining us, you can catch this whole entire video back here on the website for the Summer Show, Breed Love forward slash show. You can catch all the videos in all the clinics. And we're gonna actually spray this piece of wood and show you how we do color here in the shop. So we're in the spray booth. This is going to be fun. We're going to take this guitar top or back and show basically the process to get it where it would look like these blue eyes, which are a limited edition in the Oregon series. All right. This is a water-based stain, so it's water-based. It's uh, can manipulate it a lot better. Okay. It's a lot, you know, more environmental friendly, safer for us. Okay, man, we're rolling. Okay, when I start out, I'll just do a, a light coat. Okay. And generally, I do a couple light coats with this color. I don't want to put it on too heavy, or else the blue will come out too dark. Mm -hmm. But I do want to get all the splotchiness to go away, so I'll do another coat. You can see that figure kind of pop out a bit. Mm -hmm. Set this down. Grab this rag. Sure. Any of the excess water I'll take off. So cool. And then I will take my first color, which is purple. Just change right on the fly, huh? Yeah. So with the water, you can see where it's kind of dry and we want to get it pretty dry before we start doing our, you know, production guitars, but right. for sample purposes, you know, it'll, it'll work fine, but it does turn out a bit lighter. All the darker stuff goes away. And one of the things with testing these colors on the, the different woods, is that it will actually change color from this. Here, we'll actually do that first. And this will tell me, this is our isolation coat. This will tell me if I need to go darker or lighter. So you can see the, dip, the change here. Wow. So got quite lighter. Mm -hmm. And you can see that I, the stain was put on evenly, but this came out a lot different than, mm -hmm. than this. So it's, it's something that I learned when we're looking at the woods too. So Angela has an idea of which wood to pick out for the certain right, model. That's and great, now that's we'll do the, we can do the color. 
get on that shit on this side here. And basically, what colors we want to, it's a, it's a layering process as well. When we want to see more of the blue, then we got to put that on top sure. of the purple. We did it vice versa, then, you know, it's not going to come out the same. So it's also a, when we're doing these testing that you need to know what colors to lay down first. Right, right. And it's here, go we're, back to the blue. Yeah, and this is a different. This is different than our base stain. This is a, it's the same coloring product as the the purple. And sometimes after I've, you'll have to come back with, I'll have to come back with the second, the first color, just to make sure it's in there. This is so cool. Look at that. And that figure is really starting to come out. I mean, oh man. So good. That's fast. I really, you know, it's amazing. It's like, I mean, I'm sure this isn't the first one you've done. It's no, a lot faster it, than <laughs> it's not, but you know, I've had uh, many years doing the coloring, so it's, it's kind of just comes second nature. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it doesn't need a lot. So we've just looked at the process for applying color to a piece of myrtle wood here in the Breathe Up Workshop. And these guitars have already been through that prior process. We're gonna look at some of the next steps that you would do with these models. And these are the Blue Eyes, a limited edition model uh, here in the Oregon series. So what's next after you've, you've applied that, that spray? So after we've done our base coat of a waterborne stain, one of the things that I, when I'm developing these colors and knowing how they're gonna come out is that um, after my isolation coat, which I'll do right now, it shows us the true color because this will actually change colors. Okay. And it's not with all colors, but the lighter colors seem to change more. Okay. So here we got this blue. Wow. It goes way lighter, almost like a like an aqua color. And then from there, then you have to then treat it with some more color work or is that? Yeah, now dry? we'll take our, the colors we're using here are blue, purple and blue. Okay. So now we'll, we'll we gotta layer our colors. So we don't, we don't, we want the, the purple just to, to be fading out from the, the burst. Mm -hmm. So we'll put the purple on first and then we'll go with the blue.
sometimes the purple or the, the top layer will hide some of it. So I'll just come back and do one more pass. So then I'll come back and just hit around the uh, the purple, just like a little touch up. And then to clean it up a little bit, I'll use a solvent that is friendly to it. It's not gonna wipe it away, but just to double check, I'll do there. Okay, it's gonna be good. <laughs> this cleans up any of the overspray that the fibers, the, the wood fibers will catch. Sure. Beautiful. And it also gives me an idea of what it's gonna look like wet. That's beautiful work, man. Thank you. Incredible. And then we do our, um, we go back over it with our isolation and go about our sealing and then sand it and then top coat. Sure. And then into the buffing. Buffing wheels and all that stuff. Do you want to show us some of the buffing and some of those different things? So that's what you were just working on, but that has that has a yeah. like a high gloss finish. Yep, this has it's gone through the sealer stage, and then we sand it, and we do a top coat, and it's a very thin finish too. It's uh, which which helps with our sound. We, the, the more finish you put on, the worse it's going to sound. Yeah. So we try to put on as, as little as we can and still be able to work with it. Sure. And then the the buffing process, I can show you on. Uh, oh, you got one ready to go. Well, this is a, this is a, this is not a blue eyes, but it is a, uh, it's a customer, it's custom, a custom, custom. Yeah, but just the same darker blue. Yeah, cool. But I can show you the, the buffing process. Yeah, it shows the buffing. Sorry, it's left the finger mark. That's okay. It'll come off. <laughs> so I'll sand it with uh, 800, 1200, 3000. And then we'll take it over to a three-step process on okay. the buffing wheels. Okay. Um, first one's a, an aggressive grit compound, and then it gets it gets finer as we go down the. Cool, man. Let's check it out. Grab my. So, folks, we're here behind the scenes in the Breathe Love Workshop for the 2021 Summer Show, and we are in the finish department, learning about the different color work that we do on a lot of customs and limited edition guitars and we've seen the whole spray process. We're gonna buff a guitar real fast. Here we go. Little buffing compound. That's the first That's wheel. That's unreal. I think that kind of needs to happen to my truck. <laughs> Mine too. It's a little bit brighter. Yep. A little bit of, yeah, a little bit of streaks in there a little bit. Yeah, little and bit normally we, we spend a lot more time on them. Sure. But, you know. I'm trying to move fast. To show you how it's sure. going. And this is the final wheel where it does just the, the, the final polishing.
That is incredible, man. Woo! I can't believe how big of a difference just those three wheels make. Good work, sir. Thank you. That is cool. Mm -hmm.